Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a DeWalt Tough System 1 versus Tough System 2 twofer. I'll not only be comparing the two drawer organizers, also known as the toolbox, models DWST-08290 and DWST-08320, but also the full-sized parts organizers, which are models DWST-08202 and DWST-08040. Let's get started. Here are the exterior dimensions of the two drawer tool organizers, but keep in mind my measurements may differ slightly from DeWalt's since DeWalt includes all the indents and outdents. On a positive note, DeWalt has made some nice upgrades to the 2.0 box. For example, the one touch latches make it quicker and easier to attach the box to both systems. And they made the side handle slightly wider. Unfortunately, and similar to all the other 2.0 boxes, DeWalt did away with the centralized locking system on the back for locking everything together in the DS carrier. Furthermore, they've gotten rid of the top handle and replaced it with this plastic doohickey, which is intended to accommodate the, the half box small parts organizer. I can't tell you how many times I've reached for the handle only to discover it's not there. Here are the interior dimensions of the drawers and nothing has really changed. Both 1 and 2.0 drawers extend out the same distance, use the same drawer frames and glider brackets, have the same IP54 rating, so not IP65 like the rest of the system, and the drawers click in. To remove the drawers on either side, use these plastic tabs on the glider, push one tab up while pushing the other side's tab down, and pull. To put the drawer back in, just bring the glides out, line them up, and close the drawer. Both boxes weigh a hefty 18 pounds, and both have a modest load capacity of 22 pounds, and that's per drawer. But 44 pounds isn't much compared to what other tub system boxes can handle. Regarding quality, because you may have seen my last video on the 8290, and it took me three times to get a fully functioning box, the 2.0 stock seems to have improved. I tested a bunch at my local Home Depot, and they would have passed my flashlight test. Nope. Like most tub system boxes, both these work with the workshop and van racking systems as well as the utility car. However, keep in mind that when you load these buggers up and open a drawer, they can tilt forward on you. And if you use the mobile toolbox, keep it low in the stack. All right. Regarding value, I recently purchased the System 2.0 box at my local Home Depot for $129, and that felt expensive relative to the other boxes in the Tough System line. $129 for a box that hasn't been significantly upgraded other than the one-touch latches leaves me thinking the 1.0 box is a better value. Now, I got these boxes with the intention of using them to tow drills and accessories. However, they've been demoted to storing accessories and fasteners in the shop. <laughs> They're basically overpriced storage for me. Why, you ask? Great question. It's because neither of these boxes lock. There's nothing to prevent someone from opening the drawers and helping themselves to your tools while you're at lunch. So I keep my drills in the DS-150, which is part of the Tough System 1 line, and the DS-150 is hands down my favorite box for drills and drilling accessories. It can be padlocked and locked into the utility hand truck, and look at all this beautiful storage. Oh, and I should mention that neither of these boxes with drawers are compatible with DeWalt's Tough System 2.0 tool trays or foam inserts. Huh. Now for the small parts organizers. Tough System 1 is model DWST-08202 and comes with four large and eight small removable hookups. Tough System 2 is model DWST-08040 and comes with two double and eight single removable cups. And this weird gap in the middle. <laughs> well, it says it's for storing long tools, but I bet they were like, huh, the cups don't fit. How do we spin the gap? I don't know, tell them it's for tools. doesn't even fit. Now, strange gap aside, I have to acknowledge that DeWalt tried really hard to add value to the 2.0 organizer. They not only maximized storage space, but increased cup stability by indenting the bottoms of the cups and outdenting the bottom of the box. They've also added slots to each cup to accommodate spacers, even though no spacers are included, as well as these mounting receptacles that allow the cups to be mounted uh, using nails or screws. Now, none of these features are important to me, but I still wanted to acknowledge the effort. I mean, the cups of System 1 are just cups. Huh. Here are the exterior dimensions of the boxes, but again, my measurements may differ slightly from DeWalt's. 
System 1 weighs 8 pounds and System 2 weighs 11 pounds, which makes sense given System 2 is slightly larger and provides a bit more storage capacity. There's no listed load capacity for System 1, but I'm guessing it's roughly the same as System 2.0, which is 44 pounds. System 1 has the classic all-metal latches, System 2.0 has the metal and plastic latches, both boxes are IP65 rated, have padlockable lids, and a nice front handle. 2.0 is a slightly larger. System 2 has the plastic thingamabobber on top for attaching the half-sized parts organizers. System 1 does not, but I see this thing getting broken off pretty quickly anyway. It's just plastic. Unlike System 1, which has the DS Carrier central locking system on the back, and it works with the workshop and van racking systems, System 2 can't be put into the workshop or van racking systems or DS Carrier without attaching it to another box. <laughs> but wait, while that works fine with System 2.0 boxes, the back hinge is too deep for System 1 boxes to securely lock in. Is it me, or is this box not 100% compatible? Maybe I'll shave the corners of the hinges down. So if you're all System 2.0, or just stacking boxes in a mobile toolbox, you're good. If not, just know this box may be an issue. That's a deal breaker. Regarding price, at $38 for the System 1 organizer and $49 for the System 2 organizer, those are the most recent prices from Home Depot, I think System 1's a better value since there are more stowing options. So while I appreciate the one-touch latches on System 2, I'm sticking with System 1 on this organizer. Yeah. And lastly, I just want to touch upon warranties briefly, because <laughs> DeWalt doesn't appear to have updated their website for the new boxes I cover in this video. Huh? Anyway, all tough System 1 and 2.0 boxes come with DeWalt's limited lifetime warranty. I only know this because I contacted DeWalt via the chat on their website, and Melissa S. confirmed that these 2.0 boxes have a limited lifetime warranty. I'll refer to this chat should these things crash into pieces. To wrap up, I'm just going to come out and say it. I think DeWolf got it wrong with both of these Tough System 2 boxes. I like the one-touch latches, but it's kind of where the party ends. If you agree or disagree, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you'd like a comprehensive comparison of other Tough System 1 and 2.0 boxes, check out the link which should be appearing in the upper right-hand corner of your screen now. You'll also see a link at the end of this video. If you found this information helpful, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button like it replaced the handle on the top of your two-drawer toolbox with a plastic whatchamacallit. And more importantly, please subscribe. Keeps the channel going. Thanks for watching. Hello YouTubers, Bruce Allen here, coming at you from the shed. Mother I was working from home today. I decided to venture into the world of YouTube shorts. There's so many wordplays I could do with shorts, all while wearing pants. In these shorts, I hope to show you some quick fixes, new products, and maybe some laundry tips. And I'm so sorry for talking quickly, but I just tried this super coffee for the first time. And that's not an endorsement, but man, I feel like I'm strapped to a rocket. Okay, subscribe, like, see you soon.